Welcome back to Daily Reddit Stories. Let's start with the story. AITA for refusing to play nice with my dad's girlfriend and stopping them from moving in together. My mom, 37, had me when she was 17, and to be honest, she was never really a mom to me. I was raised by my grandparents, and then later by my uncle, 34. When I was 8, my grandma got sick, and my uncle, who was just 22 at the time, took me in. By the time I was 12, I moved in with him full-time. I only saw my mom at family events, and even then, she was always criticizing me, how I looked, my hobbies, and just about everything. By the time I was 14, I decided I was done. I didn't want to see or talk to her anymore. When I turned 18, my uncle offered to legally adopt me, and I decided to go tell my mom one last time and try to get some closure. During that talk, she finally told me my father's name. I talked to my family about it, and it turns out everyone knew him. His family lived in the same town as my great-grandparents, and my family used to visit there all the time. So, with my uncle's support, I decided to meet my dad, 36. He had moved back to the area a few years earlier, and he took the news pretty well. I made it clear from the start that I already had a dad, my uncle, but he was open to getting to know me. He even introduced me to his parents, and they found old pictures of me with him from before he went to college. For the past two years, we've had a pretty solid relationship. We call every week, and I see him pretty often. He and my uncle even get along great. The problem? His girlfriend, Anna. They've been together for over three years but don't live together. Anna made it clear from day one that I wasn't welcome. She gives off the same toxic vibes as my mom, always making snide comments and pointing out that I don't belong. After a few encounters, I started avoiding visits when she was around. My dad picked up on it, and he made sure she wasn't always there when I came over. Still, I only see her at family dinners, and she always finds a way to make me feel like an outsider. She'll say things like, if you were really part of the family, you'd know that, or make remarks about how I don't look like my dad. It sucks. Then last week, she called me, and I thought it was some emergency. But nope, she wanted to talk about how she and my dad want to move in together, but he's holding back because he's worried I'll stop coming around if she's always there. She basically told me I needed to put my feelings aside and be nicer to her, for his sake. I straight up told her no. I've spent years in therapy learning to cut toxic people out of my life, and being around her is like being around my mom all over again. I'm not putting myself through that again. I talked to my uncle, and he agrees, my mental health comes first. But some other people have told me I'm being selfish, and that I should make an effort for my dad's happiness. When I explain my family situation to people a lot of them, not close friends and immediate family, say the same thing how lucky I am to have a bio dad who wants, and agrees to spend time to get to know me, how grateful I should be. My bio dad or his family never made me feel like that. But I guess that after hearing a lot of people saying it, it kind of got to me and I realized now that I was restraining myself to not disappoint him. I guess in my mind I had to work and be nice to have his affection because I did not deserve it. You can blame my bio mom for that. Anyway, after realizing that I also realized that I never told him and his parents how his GF was treating me and I also realized she was smart enough to do it when they were all out of earshot. I am a non-confrontational person and I was scared to say everything at once to my bio dad, and I was afraid to not be able to express properly everything I wanted to convey. I talked to my uncle about it, and he proposed to make an appointment with a therapist to have a kind of family session so it would be easier for me to express myself. We did it before in our family, and it helped me a lot. We talked about it to my bio dad, and he immediately agreed. He could sense that something was off. Anyway, during the session I kind of exploded. I started talking and couldn't stop myself. At first I felt that it made no sense because I was saying everything and nothing at once but luckily the therapist helped a lot. We all had a very long talk and put everything on the table. My bio dad had no idea that it was this bad with his GF and he was really appalled and remorseful for not realizing it. Something that angered him and my uncle a lot was the comment about me not looking like my dad which I never took notice of because it's true. My mom and uncle are half Filipino, and I took everything from the Filipino side except his dimples. 
apparently the comments about me not being part of the family. All of this happened last month and since then he broke up with her, and I try to be more honest about what I feel without being afraid of what he thinks. He also proposed to continue family therapy if I feel like it would help me talk about certain topics. This relationship is still a work in progress, but Hon Sulti I feel very good about it. And some of you asked, but yes my uncle adopted me when I turned 18. Top comment. Travel kitty. And she is saying, Op, should be nicer to her? How about this woman can be nicer to Op? Maybe she should start with an apology, not that it'll actually happen. I bet even though she's making these ridiculous demands, she hasn't once shown remorse. Participant 1 Yeah, let's be perfectly clear here, Op. You aren't refusing to play nice, you're not tolerating someone who is outright mean to you, which is within your right to do. If Anna really cared about your dad, she would try to care about what he cares about. And he cares about you. Instead, she only cares about what your dad cares about when it can further her goals. Actions meet consequences. And a Participant 2 This also, your bio dad doesn't want her to move in BC, he values your relationship and wants to provide you a safe space. I would speak to bio dad let him know that you probs won't make it around as often BC you're uncomfortable with his GF, but that it has nothing to do with him and you support his relationship if he wants to pursue you off if that's how you feel. Participant 3 Absolutely NTA. I'm so sorry all that happened to you. I'm also so glad you were blessed with such an amazing, amazing uncle dad. Where was your bio dad all those years? If you were in pictures with him, he knew about you. It's great he wants to protect you and keep you safe. If she were to move in, you'd need to meet him somewhere else to visit and catch up. I'm sorry she's been so unkind to you. That's not okay at all. I'm proud of you for standing up for yourself. Op. Oh, sorry if I wasn't explicit enough in my post. It's hard to explain well with the character limit. My bio dad never knew I was his son until two years ago. My mom always told us my father was a summer fling and she didn't know who he was. My bio dad lived in the same town as my great grandparents, so they all were kind of summer slash holidays friends. He and his family mad me, but in their eyes I was the new grandkid. My grandparents and his parents were close, so they used to have dinner and spend afternoon together. So until he left for good, I used to see him sometimes during holidays. Thanks for watching till the end. Wishing you an awesome day. Feel free to drop a comment if you've got more to share. I'd love to hear from you.